Hi, this is Steve from Hashtag Guide, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can launch a crowd sale on POA's testnet. First thing you want, oh, before we get started, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter at Hashguide. Um, the first thing uh, you want to check out Oracle's or POA Network's website is POA.network. Um, you're going to want to connect your MetaMask to the so-called testnet custom RPC. So what you do is you go on and click on the network up top, go to custom RPC, and the URL is https colon slash slash so-called.poa.network. And then just click save, and it should put you on the network right away. And then click the back button. And uh, if you want, uh, connect, uh, copy your address, and then I'll leave the URL in the description for the, the testnet faucet for POA coins. Uh, it's faucet app.com. Uh, you just enter your address right here, click request 0.5F. Um, it, it's really POA, but F is. It, it, for now, is using F as the the ticker. Um, so 0.5 F is 0.5 POA. And look how fast that network is. I already have the 0.5 F. And uh, just to let you know, the main network is just as fast. If you want to connect to the main network, it's https colon slash slash core dot POA dot network. And if you have POA coins. Um, I've launched it on the main network already and it is very fast. It's faster than Kovan network. It's faster than the main network. It's, it's a lot cheaper. Okay, so uh, I got my coins. Now you can head over to wizard.oracles.org. Click on new crowd sale. Continue. And just start filling in your information. Now right here you can have reserve coins and quantity or percentage. Percentage is whatever the total of all your tiers equals out to. Sold. Uh, this coin is minted so tokens are minted as F is sent to the crowd sale address. So continue. Right here this is your multi-sig wallet whatever wallet you want the F to go into. There's a new feature on the wizard. Gas price. You can choose your own gas price. If you want to know what's safe for for your transaction at the moment, you can go to fgasstation.info and see what the current price is. Right now it's 21. So we'll go back to the wizard. You go cut because fast and expensive set to 15. It might end up failing if it runs out of gas. So you go to custom, type 21, and you're all set. Uh, whitelisting. I'm gonna make this whitelisted and whitelist my own address. That's it. Uh, when you click on whitelisting, it, it you know crosses out the investor minimum cap because you have it set as a whitelist. You can choose whatever you want. I'm gonna allow modifying so I can show some videos on modifying them. Hundred and my address one. And just click the plus sign so this is my crowd sale I'm ready to start submitting contracts and you'll see how fast it is on the POA network and when you see the transaction amount is that the last one was three dollars and eight cents fee this one's thirty three dollars and eight cents that's not correct because the price of POA is cheaper so this is going to be a lot cheaper sending on the POA network than the Ethereum network. And you see how fast it is. Um, launching on the main network or even the Kovan network takes uh, at least four or five times longer for each transaction. Some even longer than that. Uh, my last one I had to pause the video to do it because it was so slow and also on the Kovan network right now 
Uh, a lot of times when trying to deploy crowd sales there, uh, I have a failed transaction or two. Uh, I'm not having a single failed transaction yet using the POA network. This is just an example of how great the POA network is going to be for the Ethereum network. And should be only 12 or 13 transactions to sign. All done. Now, when you're at this page, make sure you always click download file. If you don't download this file, you have to start the whole process over again because you need all this information. Even if you copy all this information, um, it, you still might come up with uh, missing. This just gives you an example of everything that's in the text files. You don't need to copy or do anything with this because it's already in the zip file that you downloaded right here. So you check out the zip file. There's two files for each contract submitted. So there's five contracts. And in the dot soul is the source file. You want to copy the entire contents of that file if you're trying to verify your contract. And you need to copy all those into the, the source code section. The text file shows you all your information let me just get this out So in the text file, this first section shows you your token name, the ticker, decimals, and your multi-sig wallet. This, these two sections are in every single text file. So basically this is just for your reference. The third section is where you start needing the information. Your verifying contracts, this is the name, this is the contract address for each text file. That's what it is. This is your ABI, the constructor arguments. And you'll see that this doesn't have any uh, any encoded arguments because this contract does nothing. Yeah, you know, it has no functions that you that uh, gets used. It just uses the, the the information in there for the math. But uh, if you go to all the other text files, you'll see that you get the ABI encoded constructor arguments down here. Now a uh, trick: if you're trying to verify a contract and you know for a fact you did use the right all the right information because you know it's easy to mix up sometimes uh, you can get this information from the transaction hash what I mean is I don't know if I'll be able to see it right here but no etherscan.io verify contract um, now, if it says the ABI does not match up, it will show you a transaction right here, a transaction hash of the contract that was submitted. Now, what you do is you click on that, you scroll all the way to the bottom, I have a picture right here. If you scroll all the way to the bottom of the input data, right, you will see that the very last bit if it has uh, constructor arguments with the contract you start at the very first zero of the trailing zeros and you copy all the way to the last character this is your byte code for that contract um, so if the for some reason the byte code is not matching up on your text file just click on the transaction hash it gives you and scroll to the bottom of the input data and copy all these zeros and one you know all, all these numbers down and that should be your constructor arguments all right uh, thank you uh, for watching subscribe to my youtube channel like me uh, follow me on twitter at hash guide and please share with your friends thank you